I'm Dr. Cynthia Ogundo, a Kenyan ophthalmologist and a Commonwealth Scholarship alumna. My colleagues are Dr. Rebecca Oenga, also an ophthalmologist and a Commonwealth Scholarship alumna, and Dr. Nyawera Mwangi, Senior Lecturer at Kenya Medical Training College and an alumna of London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. Hello everyone. Deciding to designate one day as World Health Day is a great way to help us remember to think about our health and well-being. I'm sure you know it is important to have a medical checkup and to visit the dentist at least once a year. But what about your eyes? Did you know it is also important to have an eye checkup? Some things that the eye doctor looks for at a eye checkup are refractive error and ocular allergy. Let's learn a little more about these two conditions. Act 5, visual impairment of an individual affects both them and their community. It has an impact on quality of life, employment, and poses a great financial burden in terms of productivity loss. Globally, at least 2.2 billion people have visual impairment, of which 1 billion could have been prevented or is yet to be addressed. Did you know a significant amount of visual loss is due to refractive error? It is estimated that 123.7 million people have refractive error worldwide. In Kenya, generally 51.7% of visual impairment is due to refractive error, while among children aged 5 to 16, uncorrected refractive error accounts for 62% of visual impairment. Allergic conjunctivitis also contributes to visual impairment. In Ghana, one study found a prevalence of 39.9%, which is on the higher side since as global estimates range from 15 to 40%. These numbers show just how important it is to ad address refractive error and allergic conjunctivitis. This is a cross section of the eye. And how you see is when you have light refracted at the surface of the cornea, it is then further refracted at the lens and finally reaches the retina, which is what sends the signals to your brain and forms the image that you see. Hi, I'm Robin, and I really didn't like going to school until recently. Can I tell you what changed? I didn't have many friends because I couldn't play games well and was almost always last in class. Whenever we played, I could never seem to get the ball and I was always very clumsy, bumping into people and tripping over things. As for class, nobody wanted to sit next to me because I was always asking them what the teacher was writing and then we got into trouble for being his makers. But this time, a new teacher came to class. She is nice and she doesn't write so many notes on the board. One day she came to my desk at the back of class and asked me why I was squeezing my eyes. I didn't know I was squeezing my eyes. I was concentrating on what was on the board. Teacher asked me to go with her to the clinic during lunch break. She was worried there might be something wrong with my eyes for me to be squinting so much. At the clinic, they showed me a letter with blurry edges. It looked like what the teachers were always writing on the board. Then they let me try some spectacles. Then suddenly, the letters were bright and clear. Can you believe all this time I wasn't clumsy or slow? I just didn't know I couldn't see like most people do. Now, I love going to school and I'm making new friends. Teacher told me that everyone should have their eyes checked because without that, we may just not know how bright and clear the world may be. Refractive error is a common vision problem in which the eyes cannot bed light appropriately and focus it accurately on the retina where the images form. As a result, it's very difficult to see clearly. The images are blurry. It's very common. Some people have already received correction using a pair of spectacles or eyeglasses, contact lenses, or refractive surgery. However, for the great majority of people, the refractive error is uncorrected and this is responsible for a lot of visual impairment and blindness anywhere in the world. Any person of any age can be affected, be it children, be it uh, teenagers, adults, or even the elderly. 
the four common types are myopia, nearsightedness, hyperopia, farsightedness, presbyopia, age-related, loss in near vision, and astigmatism. A brilliant child who has uncorrected refractive error may perform poorly in school because they cannot see the board or participate in their educational activities. At work, uncorrected refractive error may limit your employment opportunities or may cause you to perform poorly at work, leading to unemployment, poverty, low quality of life, and even exclusion from activities or from interaction with colleagues and peers. There are several reasons. For example, many people are unaware that they have refractive error that they could be seeing better. Then they may not know where to go for the services. Even though these services are available at the eye clinic or eye doctor that is near you, whether you live in an urban area or a rural area. People may not know that children need to have vision testing so that the problem can be detected and managed in a timely fashion. There are also people who already have a pair of glasses, but they do not use them. This could be because they do not think it's an essential medical intervention. They think it's optional. It could also be that they feel that their glasses are not cosmetically appealing. They may also have the misconception or the myth that eyeglasses make your eye problem worse. Every person requires a regular medical examination where the eyes get checked. If your eye doctor finds that you have refractive error, they will prescribe eyeglasses or contact lenses or refractive surgery. If you use this correction, your quality of life will improve. Ocular allergy refers to inflammation of the inner lining of the eye known as the conjunctiva. This usually happens when a person's eyes come into contact with an allergen. Allergens are substances in the environment to which a person is sensitized. Examples of allergens that can trigger ocular allergy include dust, dust mites, pollen from trees, grass or flowers, animal dander, mold, chemicals such as household detergents. It is estimated that between 15 to 20 percent of the general population suffer from allergies, though the condition is more common in children than in adults. Symptoms of uh, ocular allergy can vary from very mild to quite severe. The symptoms include redness, itching sensation, grittiness or foreign body sensation, watery eyes, eyelid swelling, as well as discharge that can happen when children rub their eyes with dirty hands or fingers. An eye doctor makes the diagnosis of ocular allergy based on the history that the patient gives, as well as examining the eyes. This condition can impact other aspects of one's life, including children missing school or dropping out entirely, inability to work outdoors, which can mean loss of income for people whose jobs require them to work outdoors, loss of sleep or poor quality of sleep in severe cases, economic costs due to the long-term nature of the treatment that is required. There are things one can do to relieve or avoid the symptoms as well as avoid complications. These are avoiding rubbing one's eyes, avoiding use of over-the-counter medicines such as steroids, avoiding exposure to allergens where possible, replacing allergen harboring items in the house, such as carpets, blankets, pillows, avoiding pets or keeping pets outdoors, and use of goggles or spectacles, which can reduce the amount of allergens getting into the eyes. Treatment of ocular allergy includes use of various modalities, such as um, cold compression therapy to relieve the pain, reduce the inflammation, and soothe the eyes. Artificial tears are also used in mild cases to soothe the eyes. Various medicines including antihistamines, mast cell stabilizers, and steroids are used in more severe cases. This condition tends to be recurrent, 
but with proper treatment and reducing exposure to allergens can relieve the symptoms and reduce the number of episodes. If left untreated or poorly treated, the condition can lead to complications. This includes scarring of the eyelids and the cornea, um, secondary keratoconus, which is a severe complication of ocular allergy, and injudicious or inappropriate use of steroids can lead to cataracts and glaucoma. Now that you have heard a bit about refractive error and allergic conjunctivitis, take a moment to see if you can remember two facts about each of these conditions. Could you recall some facts? Or are you still wondering why all this is important? Sustainable development goal number three deals with good health and well-being. Good eye health is a part of our general well-being and contributes to an improved quality of life. Health workers such as ourselves diagnose and manage patients with eye conditions, while members of the community like you can make sure you look after your eyes and remind others to do the same. Good eye health also advances other sustainable development goals, such as no poverty, gender equality, and decent work and economic growth, among others. So why don't you help by doing your part? You and your friends can go for an eye checkup at the nearest clinic today. Don't forget, an eye checkup is important for everyone, children, teenagers, adults, and the elderly. Happy World Health Day!